Hi, welcome back to the Hall Monitor of the Universe show. Welcome. Welcome. How did you get in here? Who let you in here? Hello, my little Hall Monitors. It's me, Hall Monitor of the Universe, and we're back. I don't know. There's my dog. Sorry, we have lots. You're going to probably hear lots of things in the background because this is but you know, under the first five episodes of this pod YouTube show. And we're just trying to get our shit together. And by our, I mean all the personalities <clears throat> that reside in my head. Now listen to me. Um, something that I feel like we need to discuss is shopping carts. Do we know what a shopping cart is? I feel like we all do since we all most likely go to stores, stores like Grocery stores, stores like Home Goods, stores like Kohl's, stores like Sephora. Any well, Sephora, Sephora if they're in a Kohl's, but like any type of department store that has. So I have a guideline to what we should be doing with shopping carts, right? And I know you're you're thinking, what Hall Monitor of the Universe? Why would we need a guideline? Well, I do see a lot of you mistreating your shopping carts. Okay, so. A shopping cart is essentially there for us for convenience, right? It's provided by the store. It doesn't cost us anything. Although I did see in Las Vegas one time at a 99 cent store, not the Dollar Tree, the 99 cent store, um, that they did in fact, you had to, I think it was like 50 cents or a dollar and you had to put it in a machine to get the shopping cart. And then when you put the shopping cart back, it gave you the 50 cents or the dollar back. So I'm assuming they're doing that because people are stealing shopping carts, right? Anyways, for the most part, you can get the damn shopping cart for free. Okay, girl, for free. So what y'all do is you take the little shopping cart, you go about, I've done it too, right? But I mind my P's and Q's, but you, you go out and about and hopefully you're kind to people. Hopefully you look out for people. Hopefully you don't bump into people. Hopefully that you, hopefully when you see an employee struggling and there's another way to go around them, hopefully you don't choose the way to make them move. Okay. I had that happen to me the other day and I wanted to fucking throat punch this fucking customer. Um, so what do we, so what happens when the shopping cart game is over, Right. So what happens when you're done shopping and you don't need it anymore? Well, you put it back. Should I say that again? You put it back. Um, not necessarily where you found it, because I know some of you probably find random shopping carts here and there. But just because you find it and it's not in its spot does not mean you put it back in the spot that it doesn't belong to. Right? Just because you have kids... And the kids are screaming and you've decided to bring the kids to the store. I get that you got, I get that babysitters, I get that in-laws hate you. I get all this kind of stuff that I don't want to watch your shitty fucking kids. I get it. So you got to bring them to the store, right? And torture all of us in the store. But then you think because you got, a, you got kids screaming, right? You got kids screaming that you don't need to put your shopping cart away. Well, guess what, motherfucker? You do need to put your shopping cart away. Because guess what happens when your shopping cart isn't put away? The fucking storm from X-Men starts to blow her wind, okay, in the parking lot. And then magically, that fucking shopping cart ends up in my four-door Hyundai Elantra. Okay? That's what happens when you decide to not put your... Now, some of you are going to say, well, the kid thing. Okay, yeah, I, I know plenty of people that have kids and still put their shopping carts away. So if those competent people, I don't know why I'm yelling. I'm just getting so involved in this. Um, those competent people can do it. So can you. Now, I, I hear your question. The question is, but Hall Monitor, what do we do when all of the shopping cart retrieval places are inside the building? What do we do when there is nothing outside for us to put any shop cards away? Listen, get real close and listen to me. You ready? You're gonna walk your fat ass back in the store with your shopping cart. You're gonna put it away. You're gonna put your shopping cart away back in the store where it belongs. Oh, but that's too far. No, it's not. You fucking used it for free. You put it back, okay? I'm sorry. I'm not sorry, but I'm sorry 